Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our determining the concentration of an unknown acid experiment. In this experiment, we will use potassium hydrogen phthalate or KHP to standardize a sodium hydroxide solution. We will then use our standardized sodium hydroxide solution to determine the concentration of an unknown acid. Let's get started. We first need to prepare 200 milliliters of a 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide working solution. So we're going to take 10 milliliters of our two molar stock sodium hydroxide solution and add it to approximately 190 milliliters of deionized water and stir to mix. We will next standardize our 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide working solution using potassium hydrogen phthalate or KHP. The mass of KHP for trial number one is 0 0.3177 grams. We next need to analytically transfer our KHP to an Erlenmeyer flask and after transferring our KHP we'll add approximately 40 milliliters of deionized water to help dissolve our KHP. While our KHP is dissolving we'll go ahead and prepare our burette for titration. I've gone ahead and prepared our burette by washing our burette with deionized water and a small amount of soap, and then rinsing the burette several times with deionized water. I then added five milliliters of our 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide working solution to the burette and washed the burette with that sodium hydroxide working solution in order to remove any residual water from our burette. I then filled our burette with the 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide working solution and opened the stopcock in order to remove any bubbles that may have been in the tip of our burette. Our burette is now prepared for titration. If you would like to view how to properly prepare the burette for titration, please refer to one of the previous titration videos. We next need to add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask and we will then titrate to a faint pink endpoint. This is our initial burette reading for trial number one. We'll now begin titration of trial number one. We've titrated to a persistent faint pink color and have reached the endpoint for trial number one. This is our final burette reading for trial number one. The mass of KHP that we'll be using for trial number two is 0 0.3106 grams. We'll now add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask for trial number two. And we'll begin titration for trial number two. This is our initial burette reading for trial number two.
we now have a persistent faint pink color, so we have reached the endpoint for titration number two. This is our final burette reading for trial number two. The mass of KHP that we'll be using for trial number three is 0 0.3027 grams. We now need to add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask for trial number three. We are now ready to begin titration for trial number three. This is our initial burette reading for trial number three. We now have a persistent, very faint pink color, so we have reached the endpoint for titration number three. This is our final burette reading for titration number three. You should now be able to calculate the standardized molarity of our working sodium hydroxide solution. Now that we have standardized our sodium hydroxide solution, we can use it to determine the concentration of a solution with an unknown concentration. So we're gonna use our standardized sodium hydroxide solution to determine the concentration of a hydrochloric acid solution with an unknown concentration. So this is our unknown hydrochloric acid solution, unknown A. And we're going to add 20.00 milliliters of our hydrochloric acid solution with an unknown concentration to three Erlenmeyer flasks. And to do this, we're going to be using a 20 milliliter volumetric pipette. We're also going to add approximately 25 milliliters of deionized water to each of our Erlenmeyer flasks. We can now perform titrations to determine the concentration of our hydrochloric acid solution with an unknown concentration. We already have our burette set up, which contains the sodium hydroxide solution that we just standardized. So now we will add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask, and we're ready to titrate to a faint endpoint to determine the concentration of our hydrochloric acid solution. This is our initial burette reading for trial number one. We'll now begin titration of trial number one.
we now have a persistent faint pink color. So we have reached the endpoint of trial number one. This is the final burette reading for trial number one. We will now add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our second Erlenmeyer flask. And we're now ready to begin titration of trial number two. This is the initial burette reading for trial number two. We now have a persistent faint pink color, so we have reached the endpoint of trial number two. This is the final burette reading for trial number two. We'll next, add three drops of our 1% phenolphthalein indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask for trial number three. And we're now ready to begin titration for trial number three. This is the initial burette reading for trial number three. We now have a persistent, very faint pink color. And so we have reached the end point of trial number three. This is the final burette reading for trial number three. This concludes the wet lab portion of this experiment. Okay, students, you should now be able to determine the concentration of our hydrochloric acid solution with an unknown concentration. This concludes our determining the concentration of an unknown acid experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.